In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems in Robin Vectors using Calculator. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you will be able to solve problems in Robin Vectors using Casio FSCG 50 Graphical Calculator and Seconds for Multiple Choice Questions. So, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video because we are going to learn a lot, guys. Having known that, let's get the Casio Calculator now and go into the details of the video. Okay, so this is Cassie FHCG50 graphical calculator. Now, the very first thing you have to do is to reset it. The essence of resetting it is to wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator. Okay, so to quickly reset it, all you have to do is to navigate to system using this navigation button. When you get here, you to system press execute. Okay, then when you get a press F5, then press F6 for next page, then press F2 to initialize or F1 and it will begin to initialize or as indicated here. It's a good for this calculator stands for equal to. I'm going to find the magnitude of the vector, the products, scalar products, and the rest of them. It's done. Press exit. Okay, so next thing we're going to do now will be to put the calculator in vector mode. Okay, so to quickly do that, under this one matrix, we press execute. Okay, now. Under F3, which is mass to the vector, you press F3. And when you get here, you press this F6 button and it will change to vector. So let's give this vector dimension. Alright, for vector A, our vector A here will be our P in this question. So let's press the quiz. So the dimension of the vector P here, which is our vector A on the calculator, will be 1, right, is to 3. So that's the dimension of vector P there, which is our vector A here. Okay, so let's see the value is going to be 7, we have it to be 7 minus 3. And two, okay. So let's press exit and impute the dimension for vector q. Okay, so press exit now for vector q, which is our vector b on this calculator. The dimension is still one is to three. Okay, now leaving this question is not having k unit vector just i and j it would have been one is to two but since it's having i j and k the one is to three three dimensional vector okay so press is good now let's see the values for vector q which is four sorry four five and minus three Okay, now note that as I impute the values, they are being stored on the calculator automatically. So let's press the Z button and begin to find what we ask to find. We ask to find the magnitude of P and Q. Okay, so to get the magnitude of vector P and Q, now note this symbol. Let me show you. This symbol, there are some examiners who use this to denote magnitude. So this sign can be used for magnitude. If they don't use it in words, they might use this sign. So it represents what magnitude. So take note of what I have explained here. Okay, so for magnitude of vector P and Q is going to be you go to option then under option you press F2 for mass to the vector. Then to get the magnitude, you are going to go to this norm. Alright, so when you get a press F1 for it, then press option again, mass to the vector. Then we press this for this page. Then vector what? Magnitude of vector A. We use vector A for RP. On the calculator so 
Reverse alpha A. That's all. Fill the brackets. Press is equal. So the magnitude of vector P here is what? Roots of 62. Square root of 62. If you want to put this value in decimal, you press SD. So it's as simple as that, guys. Let's delete everything. I press is it. Okay. Delete. Or let's find the magnitude of vector Q at the same time. What you have to do is to use the navigation button. So our vector Q on this calculator is our vector B. So we use B for each on this calculator. Press alpha B. And that's a press the So this will be the magnitude of vector Q. To change it to decimal, press SD. Alright, so it's as simple as that, guys. Let's delete everything here and find the scalar product of vector P and Q. So press delete or uh, F1. Okay, so you go back to option, max to the vector. So we're looking for the scalar product, press F6 for next, or you press this out button. Okay, so you press f6 again look for scalar product which is our dot product all right so which is f2 now when you get here you impute the vector all right so scalar product is something like dot product vector a which is our p the alpha a comma put comma very important guys and vector B, which is our Q, that will be the scalar product of vector P and Q, right? Alpha B, close the bracket, very important, guys. And that was the last part of the root 7. So the scalar product or the dot product of vector P and Q, which is our A and B on this calculator, is our 7. Okay, now if you ask to find the cross product, for instance, all you have to do is to let's delete everything here. Is it Okay. All you have to do is to go back to option, master vector. Okay, F6. I uh, make use of this button. So you look at cross product F3, cross product of P and Q. This is our A and B here. We have vector A, alpha A. Okay, comma. Vector B, alpha B. Close the brackets. And that's all. Press the good. So this is the cost product of vector P and Q. In case you are asked to find cost product. And lastly for this question, let's find the cosine of angle between vector P and Q. So let's delete everything and press exit button. Okay, delete all. Go back to option. F2. Then next. Look at angle, all right. So it press angle F4. So the cosine of the angle between vector P and Q, which is our vector A and B on this calculator, so it's going to be the press vector alpha A, all right, comma vector alpha B, and close the brackets. That's a pressure is eclipse. 1.44. Now, this is the value in radius. All right, my default, my calculator is on radius. All right, since we are looking for the angle, it's meant to be in degree. To quickly change it to degree, all you have to do is to press Shift menu, then scroll down to angle. When you get here, to change it to degree, all you have to do is press F1. It has changed to degree. That's the press is it. Then press equal to again. Now the answer will change to degree. Or is it good? Okay. As you can see, 82.77 degrees. So this will be the cosine of the angle between vector P and Q for this question. All right. So that's basically how you can solve problems involving vectors using the Casio calculator. It's so a comes from multiple choice questions. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. If you are new to the channel, share the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel. 
more videos like this so like share comment on this video tell me how you feel from what you learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i'm sure to give you a response that is for this class guys right? thanks for watching don't forget to reset your calculator to wipe out these values you have made use of for these calculations to do that all you have to press is menu then navigate to system okay press is includes okay f5 receipts f6 next page f2 initialize or f1 and it will begin to initialize all okay thanks for watching press visit okay that's it see you in my subsequent video